channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lily Works, and we have a jewelry haul video for you guys today. I got this um, big bag from shopgoodwill.com. Uh, we're just going to go through it together, just hang out, chill. I have my big thing of water here. So yes, I went to shopgoodwill.com. I won this huge bag. Let me just show you guys. This big bag, it's over 10 pounds here of jewelry that we're going to go through together. Um, this bag, I won it at just under $16 and I didn't have to pay shipping. So um, yeah, so I didn't have to pay shipping for this big bag because I picked it up um, near me. So what I did was, you guys might have seen the video. Um, hey, you guys. <laughs> Yay. Um, oh, I'm sideways. Really? Okay. Well, let's flip it. That's really annoying because... Uh, all right. We're just going to hold it for now. That's really annoying because um, YouTube likes it the other way. But anyways, I got this big lot here. You guys can see. Um, for a little bit less than $16, I did not have to pay shipping and handling on it. Um, because I went to go pick it up in Appleton, Wisconsin. We were just driving back from up north. And um, yeah, so let's see what I can grab. Let's see if I can fix this little thing. All right. So yay, I'm not sideways. I know, but I'm really irritated that it did uh, the sideways thing because I want it in the landscape. But anyways, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. And um, I have my new little setup thing here where I lock my phone in. All right. So this is going to be like a gamble, you guys, um, because it's not, it wasn't like vintage. It just was 10 pound jewelry lot and there looks to be a lot of earrings in here. So I'm excited about the earrings. And if anything, if I just sell one thing for 20 bucks, I'm covered. So um, this to me is like Perfect for the beginner reseller. Hello to everyone in the chat. Yay. Welcome. Um, so yeah, this would be perfect for a beginner because even if something's not super valuable in here, it will um, help you with your researching skills. It will help you learn different materials and what, what quality is made out of. And you just get a feel for like what de decade something is from. So I'm going to dump this out. I'm going to see if I can flip you guys. There we go. All right. <clears throat> As always, you guys, we have like a maybe box. We have a yes box. And then my I'm not sure about box um, is down below. <laughs> Probably like crafting and things like that. So we're just going to do a dump, right? The infamous dump. And I just really, really dislike this stuff here. I just kind of want to get it out of the way right away because um, this is called an illusion necklace. So it's supposed to look like it's just floating on your neckline or your chest or your skin, but it gets tangled in everything and it doesn't really hold its shape very well. And I don't know about you guys, but it um, does not sell well for me at all. Okay, see, it's already tangled in this bunch. Hello, Fleur and Chick Benny. Welcome. I see some of you have already uh, pressed the like button, which is awesome. All right, I'm going to see if I can get this out. And if I can't, I'm just going to cut it because I'm not going to sell it. I think that's maybe what I'm going to do, <laughs> honestly. Yes. There we go. We cut it. Um, and it's still tangled. All right. So this would be perfect for someone who's crafting. Honestly, these are really pretty faceted pink beads. So crafting is where it goes. All right. Let me just put you guys down a little bit. There we go. All right, and, and yes, I see Jen is in the chat. If you guys are not subscribed to Jen, go ahead and subscribe. She's been picking up some pretty awesome vintage jewelry lately on her channel. Some coral pieces and the most amazing <laughs> earring, clip-on earrings I have ever seen. Really, honestly, uh, they were pretty awesome. Like, I was about to ask her how much she wants for them. <laughs> 
They are so cool. So anyways, this kind of looks like sterling silver. Uh, are we thinking like Arab? I don't, I don't know. What is this, you guys? What do you think? And then these might be faux turquoise. They, they might be stone, but this like lobster claw is telling me it's more modern and it's not marked. So I'm thinking this is all just like faux, um, like not real silver or anything, but it might be um, like Lucky Brand or something similar. So I'm going to put this in my maybe box. I'm not going to think about it too long. Oh, oh, look what we're finding. This looks like the bourbon and bow ties, right? If you guys don't know, bourbon and bow ties is a little bit more trendier of a brand. This one, um, this one's marked, let's see, Amanda Blue, B-L-U, or maybe B-L-U-E, I think. Amanda Blue. And I think these stack together, they look like they're made by the same, but um, these definitely, I think I'm going to sell. This is like a lava rock. And then let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to grab my Persidium tester over here and see if this is actual like rock quartz. Okay. Yeah. It's actually, wow. Okay. You guys, it's actually going past rock quartz. Let me just show you. Okay. So we are at we're actually at jadeite spinel, but I actually don't think that it's jadeite or spinel. I do think this is rock quartz. I don't think they would make, I don't know, but this is definite yes, no matter what. So I'm just going to put that in my yes box and I think I will sell them together. Okay. This is kind of catching my eye. Oh my gosh. This is, this is a big statement earring. All right, we're going to have to save earrings for last. Hello, Janice. Welcome. All right, but this, I can already tell it is by the brand Bobble Bar. Um, if you guys can see that. Let's see if it will focus. There we go. Bobble Bar by Sugar Fix. I believe they sometimes sell the, this brand at Target. So I actually do pretty well, especially on um, platforms like Poshmark things like that. So we'll see if we have the match to this. Um, for you guys that are just coming in, welcome. Hey, um, I got this lot for about $16 and I picked it up. So it's free shipping. So we're going to see what we can get for $16. All right. So we have this amazing, amazing clip on. It is not marked, but I would suspect that it is similar to Renoir Matisse, which is a very um, familiar MCM copper brand. This does look like MCM copper jewelry and uh, copper jewelry actually does do pretty well for me. So I'm going to set that aside. Uh, this actually looks pretty cool. Look at this. I love how it's see-through. Let's see. It's marked SG. And... Let's see if it's marked anything on the clasp. Yes, it is marked 925. Huh. So this looks like some kind of artisan piece. I believe it's just glass because if you look closely, you can see some little bubbles through it. So these might just be really pretty jewel tone glass pieces with like a sterling silver soldering or something. But this is really pretty. And if anybody wants anything in the video, just reach out to me at lilyworksreseller at yahoo.com. Yes. So, and I, we can make some good deals because I did not pay a lot for this. So yeah, go ahead and reach out to me. Um, if you're in the U.S., it is $5 first class shipping and $10 if it's more than $50 worth. Okay. Okay, we have a hot mess going on here. Okay, so this is a bangle that just feels really grimy and it's worn, as you can see. There's not a lot of value in this. It just feels really lightweight and I wouldn't even think it would be marked. So I'm just going to put this in craft. Um, this looks like an Alex and Ani, which used, it used to do a lot better, this style. 
This is very worn though. Um, so we're going to put this in craft. And Alex and Ani itself sits around for a while. All right, this looks similar to a Crown Trafari clip, clip on earring that I have. Um, this one's not marked though. I'm going to, I'm going to put that over here by the earrings. We have a little pile of earrings. All right, look at this. <gasps> oh, look! Doesn't it look like a little chick or something? And it's the Millie Fiori glass. See that? That's really pretty. I mean, it, it kind of is in the shape of a paisley, but it looks like a little chick. And then just a lobster claw clasp. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm definitely going to sell this one. So cute. Yes. All right, so I'm pretty sure with the things I've already put in my yes, we are making the money back on this lot. So this was a pretty safe bet. Yay. All right, this one is marked, so I want to get it out carefully. Um, so do you guys remember, maybe I told you on one of the videos, but um, there was this beautiful Briolette rock crystal that I had purchased, and the buyer, oh my gosh. The buyer said in Canada said that it had like snapped. So it was just similar to this, how it was strung. And um, I, and it, she said it like exploded. And when she got it, it was completely like exploded. All right, we need the scissors for this little, little string, which I think is just this tag that says Napier um, 850. Okay, or 750. Okay, so it was similar to this, but it was a gorgeous Briolette um, AB crystal necklace. Um, and then by just happen, happen chance, happenstance, at the antique store up north, I found the exact same necklace, bought it for 40 something dollars, resold, resold it again because she said, if you have another one, I'll buy it. Well, I found one. Rebought re it. Hey, Cindy. Um, and just to like, because I felt really bad because she seemed to be a collector of jewelry. And shipped it out. What do you know? The next one broke. <laughs> hey, Peggy. Welcome. Um, and it was very similar to something like this where it's not hand knotted, but it's just strung beads. And what I did with the next one is I literally had a box that was like almost the size of it with little hooks so it couldn't be folded at all. And she said it still broke. And I'm just like, I was just like beside myself. <laughs> like that cannot happen. I was like, you need to go to your post office ASAP and file a complaint because that should not be happening. Um, two necklaces exactly the same um, completely exploded in the mail. And I trust her because she, from reviews, appears to have buy a lot of jewelry. Just really disheartened. Okay, anyways, we're just looking at this. <laughs> this is um, Napier, obviously. We can see that. Definitely a brand I like to resell. There's something on here. It's not stained. It just needs to be scratched off. This reminds me of a Monet um, necklace as well. Um, dark navy blue and white acrylic beads. That one is a definite yes. Love this. Kind of goes with my bangle I have on right now. Um, this is just an etched uh, possibly brass. There's some yuck, yucky stuff on there but it'll clean off nicely. I do well with like these India etched brass cuffs. Not like high profit but they're still really pretty. And boho, um, if it goes to Canada on an airplane, do you think a pressure change in the plane could have caused that? You know, that is a good point. She did say that this is her, like, 15th necklace that have has done that. And I'm just like, that is too many. Like, that should not be happening <laughs> at all. And I had padded it really well. Even the people at the antique store because they were putting everything into bags for me. And so I was like, just don't put this one in a bag. So they literally carefully wrapped it in, in tissue paper. Like we treated that thing like a baby, okay? And she said it still exploded. So anyways, that one's gonna be a yes. All right, there's more memory wire, fish wire stuff going on here that is just, yeah. 
Um, I was watching Bless Bobbles. She's new to YouTube, but really relaxing and um, fun to watch. She does a lot of like jewelry unboxings like this, and she was like saying, "Oh, I these are so many tangles. I don't like tangles." And I was like, "I love tangles. I will buy all the tangles because it honestly is so relaxing for me." So that's craft. We have this is probably going into craft. It's not. I mean, it's really pretty, but it's something that you would just wear to prom or to a wedding, like a one-time thing. Um, and it doesn't have enough going for it that it would stand out for me to resell. That's just me personally. Someone might get it and they want to lot it with some earrings or something, but I'm going to put that in craft. Okay, we have this clip clippy, which is really sad because I've sold, I just sold some clip-on earrings that were metal and highly three-dimensional texture thing um, just recently and I believe they're 1960s like flower power um, but this one is very very chipped up the, the enamel paint is coming off so someone will have to rescue that oh this looks like Lisner do you guys see this do we think it's Lisner let's see if it has a hang dangle oh looks like corn <laughs> is it a listener oh is it broken oh <gasps> it's broken you guys I'm pretty sure it's a listener though right well that's a bummer but the thing is is I did just sell a listener that was gold tone similar to this that well this one's actually in pretty rough shape if you look up a little bit more closely um I did sell a repaired listener for 15 maybe um I don't know maybe I'll just put this in craft I'm gonna put this in the maybe just for now because we're just we're just keep keeping on keeping on Ooh, these are pretty look at these this is art glass this is not just a run-of-the-mill um, dangle lever back earrings these are beautiful art glass they have like really nice depth to the glass. I would not be surprised if they were sterling. Should we test them? Yes, we should. Hello, Nicole. Welcome. All right. They're kind of like a goldish tone, but we will see. All right. So we have that. I wonder why YouTube had it portrait mode. All right, so 18 karat gold testing solution to see if it's sterling and it is not. So, but I'm still gonna sell these. They're really pretty. They're like cranberry color. All right, where is my, ooh, that was, those feel a little grimy. Oh, here's the paper towel, okay. All right, next, this is pretty, but again, it's not nicely made. So it gets really um, tarnished and kind of worn very easily. It does have the faux abalone shell underneath the um, faceted acrylic. Is it still a portrait for you? Um, yeah, like when I started what or I started recording, um, I started recording it in the landscape, which is why so you guys can see your whole screen. But YouTube said otherwise so here we are <laughs> we're in the up and down portrait mode okay this is craft um what is this okay this is interesting okay this is old and it has an h right or an r Ooh, r for rachel there's some something happening here might be gold filled or so. Oh, oh, there's. Oh, look at this. Look at look at what we get to enjoy. <laughs> uh, yay. Um, Nicole says, I'm glad I found your channel. I've been enjoying your videos. Plus, you live in Phoenix now, but grew up in Racine. Yay. <laughs> Graduated from Park Small World. Cool. So you live where all the good turquoise and sterling. Uh, okay, so bonus hair, right? Um, we're just, I mean, I don't even know, like, 
this is just a hot mess. So I'm if it's gold filled, maybe I will clean it. But right now we're just putting in the maybe. That is that is a lot to handle right now. Oh, these would have matched the um the the memory wire illusion necklaces. But I don't know. I'm gonna put these in maybe. Um I might lot them up with other glass earrings. These are just glass faceted A B dangles. Oh, ooh, what is this? This is looking nice. Ah, this looks pretty cool. Okay, what are you? So we do see some floor de lis right? We have, we have floor in the house and we have French teacher in VA, right? <laughs> you guys, do you guys like this? Ooh. Um, and I do collect floor de lis jewelry. So we look, it looks like we have some lion crests and some floor de lis um, and then it almost looks like a book chain in the back. So I don't know. This definitely looks like an older piece. I will definitely sell this one. This one's pretty cool. Yay. That one's going in the yes. Okay. Yeah, this, this lot was, you know, only $16, but it definitely is kind of a hot mess. They did not, um, sort out anything, any earrings or anything like that. This one reminds me of a Chico's piece. It is on that leather cord. Um, not marked though. And not marked on the back. I don't know. It it's it's pretty basic. I'll put this in the maybe. Okay, so yeah, my husband grew up in racing. <laughs> um and I did not. And um racing is like because there's a river running through racing, um, the the streets don't go up or up and down like like a checkerboard, so you can get lost really easily. And I do like really easily. Um, okay, so we have this. It's a three strand necklace, which is kind of interesting because these are dyed shells. So someone, um, I think it was Janice actually who showed a picture of the shells on the Facebook group page. And yeah, so these are kind of dyed in like a zebra striped pattern. These are just acrylic, not marked. So these are going to be a maybe. This is like a modern like career wear necklace. So we'll put that in the maybe. Um, we have this stretch. There we go. Okay. <laughs> We have this stretch. I do like pink and gold together. However, I'm not really huge on the stretch. It gets really worn really quickly and the, there's no mark on this. So I'm gonna put this one in craft. Okay. We have a cuff link. Ooh, I love, ooh. And it's a Freemasons. Yes. Freemasons are definitely uh, collectible has the bullet back says USA and Speedel Spido, Speedel right there. So I hope we have the other one because these I will definitely sell. Okay, we have one of those gold plated leaves. Um, these do not go for a lot. So this is a maple leaf. So maybe if you're in Canada, you really want this. Ooh. Um, I do really like this clasp. Look at it. Oh, oh, it's just so cute and fun. I love that. It's a little, little, I don't know. What do you call it? <laughs> a little doodad. I like that. That's so cute. So this is going to go in the maybe. You can, or maybe I'll just use the chain for something because these um, gold plated leaves don't really sell for a lot. Um, or we could play around with it and start layering things. No, we're not. But the chain is really nice. So I'm just going to put that in the maybe for now. <gasps> Ooh, we have a tie clip, tie bar. Oh, I do not know what this is. So there is a D with a, is it a Florida Lee in there? Oh, <gasps> what is it, you guys? What is that? Okay. We have 20 people in the chat. <laughs> Let me know. What is this D for? I've sold a lot of tie bars, cufflinks, and things like that. Um, yay. Hello, Erin. Okay. 
So if you know what the D is, uh, let me know. I'm going to put that in the yes, though, because we are going to be selling that one for sure. And I'm really interested to research that one more. Okay, we have this. That is like enamel. I really think it's cute with the yellow and the blue. All right. Oh, it's a Betsy Johnson. So right there. Betsy Johnson is actually pretty collectible. Um, yeah. There's there's some loss, though. There's some loss to the yellow enamel. So I think I'm just going to put this in craft. Just because it's a little bit too worn. Oh, and it's missing. It's missing something here, I'm pretty sure. All right. So there's that. Um... This is just going into craft. Anything that's like lightweight and like, ugh, we're just we're just not even going to talk about it. It's just going into craft. Should we talk about this? <laughs> like, this is like on a shoestring. Um, I mean, I really think that the beads themselves are really pretty. Uh, it sounds like you slam down the jewelry you are keeping. Uh oh, is that too loud? Am I being too loud? Um, yeah, so this is going into craft. Okay, we have these. Again, new, new on the card, maybe? I don't know. Um, but these are not really that special. So again, these might go into a, um, like a earring lot. What is this? What is this? Okay, who knows? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, that might be kind of cool on a choker, right? With like a little dangle. Okay, well, this is going into craft. So that's a no. Okay, these usually are a no for me. I tried really hard to sell unbranded, um, like bib necklaces that are like this, like with acrylic. And I think these were very, maybe like 2010-ish. Um, and yeah, they're usually not super well made unless they're J. Crew. Oh, thank you, Jan. Yay. Um, excited to catch an unboxing live. Yay. Welcome. Okay. So yeah, I've even tried lotting these up. I might even still have a lot <laughs> online, um, for someone to buy. And yeah, they just kind of sit for a long time. So I'm going to put that in craft as well. All right, let, let's try to find something that brings us joy. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Is this bringing us joy? Okay, we have a tank. Oh, oh, I see a, I see a box clasp. Oh, and it's, yeah, okay, this one's sad. But look at, I really love multi-strand box clasps, but that one looks broken. All right, let's get this one out. This reminds me of Swarovski, um, but I don't think, I definitely don't think it is. It is bezel set though. So there are people that really like their bezel set, um, like jewelry with the stations and Swarovski does that. And Swarovski um, necklaces that are similar to this are really popular because women really love to do layering. Like, for instance, the pearls with the Swarovski crystals and then maybe put like a brooch or a statement piece on the side um, of the uh, bundle or whatever that you're layering. So I think I'm going to sell that one. That one's really pretty. Okay, what else? We see some rock crystal. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, rose quartz. And these kind of necklaces um don't like fly out of my shop by any means but they are genuine natural stone really great for layering again some people feel like certain stones have certain healing properties for instance um i put amber necklaces on all my babies <laughs> for when they were teething and honestly all my babies were um cool as cucumbers with with their teething necklaces on. So there could be something to be said about 
um, gemstone properties. So what I would do if I was, you know, wanting to resell this, um, I would probably look up healing properties of rose quartz. And this one's pretty long. It's probably 25 inch drop. So maybe, yeah, 25 inch, actually 25. I don't know. It's pretty long. So put that in the yes. Um, we have this cuff that is just silver tone, not too special. That will go on craft. We have another stretch craft. What is this? This kind of looks like it matches the Napier, but I see a lobster claw clasp. Oh my gosh, this, this is just... Yeah, it is very, very tangled. Okay. Sometimes if you just shake stuff, jewelry just starts falling out. So, you guys don't get dizzy. Okay. Well, I see a lonely little um, clip-on, little clippy. This reminds me of some coros that I have. It's metal. Um, little metal eyeball. <laughs> Put that off to the side. If I can find the match to that, I will sell those. So this is really pretty. And this one's actually really pretty. And this one actually feels like it's made better. So I was just talking about bib necklaces and a lot of them are not made really well. This has like a matte gold finish to it. And it actually feels nicer. No maker's mark that I see. And it has that like dichroic look to it. Kind of like faux opal or faux abalone. So that um, iridescence that you see is called dichroic. And this is a fun geometric bib. I think I will sell this. This is very interesting. There's that one. And then I'm going to unhook this. All right. There we go. Okay. So we have this one. This oh. Ooh. Ooh, this one's actually really, really pretty. It's unfortunate that the clasp itself is a little bit tarnished, but look, I think that this is really pretty. So these are all just Lucite. Um, yeah, I am, is this glass? No, I think they're all plastic actually, but this is a really pretty seafoam green. These are some Briolette dangles, very sparkly, gold tone, and like a brass tone. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to put this in the maybe just because of the condition in the back. But I think, I think this would be really nice either way. Like someone could really craft with these pieces and it would look gorgeous. Or someone would probably really love wearing it. So I mean, if any of you guys want it, just go ahead and email me. <laughs> I will probably take like two bucks for it, honestly. Um, but we're going to put them the maybe for now. Okay. We have, ooh, we have a screw back clip on and not marked, but I honestly, like, I just love selling earrings so much. So it's going over there by our earrings. Here is a silver tone, possibly. Um, it looks broken. You guys see that? Okay, putting that in craft. Okay, this one's going in craft. This one feels very lightweight. Craft. Okay. Ooh, earrings. Oh, a bell? Oh, it's a little vintage bell. Okay, I like that. So if you guys haven't um, heard or seen the beginning of this video, I picked up this lot from shopgoodwill.com for just under $16 and I did not have to pay shipping and handling because I picked it up in Appleton, Wisconsin. Oh, we have a maker's mark. What do we think this is, you guys, by the shape? I'll let you guys guess and then I'll turn it over. I did not see it. So I have a guess. I do have a guess though. Do you guys have a guess? Just by the shape of the back. Let's see who can get it 
first. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see who can get what I'm thinking. Let me know in the chat. Anyways, while you guys are looking at this and guessing, um, I'm just going to look at this little cute little bell with a little faux pearl. And it actually is dinging. Um, I don't know if my chat is frozen or just you guys are not guessing. <laughs> are you guys working hard? Um, spring ring clasp, kind of tangled, but super cute. So that one is going to be a yes. All right. Oh, we have somebody. Somebody guessed and someone said Chico's. Okay. So, um, all right. So I would have guessed Premier Designs as well, Carol, because of the shape. Chico's is a little bit bigger. So we're going to see. Oh, what is it? What is it? RMN, which is Roman. Huh, I would have not guessed. I would have guessed Premier Designs as well. But this is fun. It's even funner that it's marked. <laughs> More fun, funner. Um, and then it has these like harsh stud rhinestone things with this red. So what could we say about this? Gothic? <laughs> Goth? Um, rocker chic but these are all just acrylic but I will sell that that's a really pretty red oh we have this sodalite stretch yeah more people said Chico's okay so sodalite um, sodalite is different than lapis lazuli because there are no gold flecks in the sodalite and there is a lot more white in this one so this is just a stretch. The stretch is still there. Again, with the um, natural gemstone chips. Again, I would just probably look up the healing properties. That's honestly <laughs> what I do. Um, yeah, unless it breaks, then then that's going in craft. But I think I will sell that one. All right. Ooh, we have a match. We have a match. And because these are not... Um, marked. I'm going to either, well, I'm going to try Google Lensing them first because they might be a part of a per per um, per set. Uh, but if it's not, then I'm just going to have to keyword, um, keyword the heck out of these. So yeah, like, hi, dome. We don't want to say anything inappropriate <laughs> um, to sell these, but whatever we think they look like, vamp goth wow yeah, see i am so jen if you guys don't know she is a, are you a middle school teacher or a high school teacher um so you kind of know what all the trendy newer things that kids are <laughs> wearing and all the styles i do not i feel when i go to the goodwill bins i am like out of place i do not know um anything okay so what is this? Ooh, this is a cute little hot air balloon. Look at, oh my goodness, you guys, we have 21 people in the chat and we have 21 thumbs up. <gasps> That's amazing. Okay, so what is this? This is an Avon. Isn't this so cute? I love this. And I love how Avon does their red enamel. It just looks so rich. And they have that like patchwork print underneath. Okay, we love that. That one's lovely. Yay! <laughs> Finding some good pieces in this, like, really throaty mess. Oh, these are so adorable. I want to find the other one. Okay, look at this. This reminds me so much of up north. Um, the earrings remind you of a sun hat. Well, that, of a sun hat. Well, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I was thinking of, like, eyeballs or something, but yeah. Okay. So up north, we have a lot of loons on the lake. And honestly, sunsets do really look like this. Um, so this is like a hand-painted piece. And it's on a slice of, I believe, a deer antler. So you guys can see. So this is probably like a little artisan piece um, from someone's vacation. So uh, this is so exciting. I hope we find the other one. <gasps> this, like, honestly, this would just make the whole lot. <laughs> This is just great. Yay. Okay. Craft. Not marked. This one. Oh, I do like the pink and the gold, though. I, I am a sucker. I am a sucker for pink and gold. 
Um, and then the, I think it's the matte gold tone. Okay. Ooh, you'll actually be headed up north for Manaqua on the 4th. So we are going to Manaqua on the 4th as well. Yay. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, you were referring to the Roman necklace as being, yes, no, I, I know that. I know, Jen, that that's what you're talking about. I agree. I just, I cannot think of vamp goth. Uh, like you, I don't even know what that is, but it sounds, it sounds good. Okay. This one's just going to be a maybe because I really like the matte gold and the pink together. Loons in, in your lake at Northern Maine. Awesome. Yes. So we actually, my mom has a cottage um, in Manitouish Waters, which was is just like 20 to 30 minutes north of Manaqua. And then we, yeah, do all, all the things. This is so pretty, but it is so damaged. So this, this is all damaged. But I love these tassel AB glass beads. Oh, that is so pretty. So, and then especially seeing fireworks on the lake, like, and small um, towns up north really know how to do 4th of July. Like, really family friendly, really just spectacular. Spect a lot of free things, free concerts, free ski shows, um, free community events. It, it, every year it's just really, really nice. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Don't we think? I don't think it's made super well, and it actually might be repurposed. Because, uh, maybe. Because I'm seeing, like, silver tone links and then gold tone links. So, I don't know. And then I see a locket here. Let's see. I really like these, even though it's um, memory wire, which is just horrible. It's also horrible for storing. <laughs> it really is. Um, but I really like the art glass. So it's like a foiled art glass underneath. Really, really pretty. Okay, so what I might do is I might just cut <laughs> the memory wire again. Because I think I really want to get this. It really does look like it is gold filled. Now again, this is monogrammed. So it's M Y K. So I'm thinking the last name would start with a Y, right? <laughs> um, which would be very, uh, rare. Let's see. Nothing on the back or on the inside that I can see. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was gold? Then I would totally sell it. Let's see. Does it say any, anything here? Mm, no. All right. Well, well. Yeah. Okay. This this glass one is already broken, anyways. So sad. I think I'm going to probably test this because it does have that like gold look to it, like genuine gold, and it is very dainty. So I'm gonna put this in my maybe because honestly if it's not um gold I might I think I would have a really hard time selling it let me know what you guys think with uh with that. okay craft 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 okay this one's going into craft oh wow okay yeah fourth of July is actually coming up really quickly what are you guys all doing for the 4th? Oh, I see a ring. Oh, I see an old looking ring. Look at this. Okay, while we're untangling this, let me know. What do you guys like to do for the 4th? What do you guys like to eat? So I'm, a, I'm on a diet. So yeah, tell me all the things <laughs> you want to eat. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, this looks like it's made out of brass with this moon glow ish type purple stone look at look at this and here's the side kind of looks art nouveau it's adjustable 
And uh, is it marked anywhere? Not there. No. Oh, but it's so pretty. It definitely looks really old, doesn't it, you guys? Okay. We're going to test. We're going to test here. Off topic, you have the same ring but in dark amethyst. No, that's on topic. <laughs> that's right on topic. I love this. This one's this one um is I think marked Mexico on the inside and then it test as a blue topaz okay and it honestly people keep looking at it all the time i went to church today and people couldn't stop looking at my hand because it looks like outrageous <laughs> like it looks like i'm really wealthy or something okay so let's see if this is anything it's just testing as glass i believe yeah, it's just, it's just wiggling on the glass a little bit. But this is so neat. Love it. That one is a definite yes. Okay. Oh, look at this fun earring. Wow. This is enamel with, like, glitter enamel. Very geometric. Hexagon. Probably 1980s. Is that what we're thinking? Yes. Large and in charge. Yes, yes. Uh, this is one that I have not listed online yet because I've been wearing it so much. But, yeah, I find things that I like and I usually list them and I price up. So, th oh, this one just came off right in my hand. <laughs> uh, we'll just put this off to the side. It's not marked and it reminds me of, like, Richelieu or Marvella. Um, yeah. Okay. We're just going to put that over there. It's not marked. Okay. We have this clip on. It kind of looks like pot metal. Tacos will be on the 4th. It will be Taco Tuesday. Yum. Okay. Yeah. This, this I'm just going to put over by the earrings. See if we have any matches. Okay. This is a cheap, cheapy. <gasps> what is this? little uh, woven seed bead thing. That's cute. Kind of like Native American. Okay. Let's do the little shake. Oh, I see a little locket. This one looks beautiful. Okay. Let's get you out. All right. So this looks like a little locket. Let's see if it's marked on the spring ring at all. No. And then it looks like it's double. So there's two layers, possibly. Or maybe it's just really long and knotted. Oh, no. Wait, what is happening here? Oh, wait. There is something that's said on this side. What does it say? Does it say sterling? Um. <laughs> well, these are like, they like hanging out. Okay, so we have this little etched locket that is so sweet. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this this whole bunch into the yes. And then this one came out. What is this? This is like a shield shape. Um, there's something that said on the back of that, but what is this? Is it an owl? Or does it go this way? Maybe not. It might go this way. Uh, we're going to put that in the maybe. It might be something collectible for some group. Ooh, what's this? Oh, just a, just a little earring. Okay, another earring. Ooh, cufflink. <gasps> you guys, we have the match. Look. Dun, da, da, da. That's pretty awesome. And it honestly feels like this is not black enamel. It feels kind of like black glass or onyx. So yeah, these are awesome. They're a really good weight too. So that is great. Ooh, what is this? It's broken. Ooh, look at it. So if it wasn't broken, I probably would have tested it for sterling, like this little hook. And then it looks like some kind of glass. Well, I don't know. I'm just going to put that in craft. And then we have another stretch that's shell and plastic craft. Okay, this one we have to put in craft, sad day, and it's really dirty. 
just a hot mess. Okay, well, we'll do the shake, see if anything else comes out. Hey, you guys. No, never mind. I have a similar <laughs> that I bought at the antique store that's actually abalone shell. This is not. This looks similar, though. Um, where it had, like, the, the paint splatter on the abalone shell. The other one is actually really pretty. This one's just trying to mimic that, in a way. I'm going to put this in maybe. There's no maker's mark or anything. So, maybe. All right. Yeah, this whole lot is just, it has that really tarnished grimy feel. You guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Ooh, these are some carved mother of pearl beads right here with barrel clasp. Let's get this, this one out. Ooh, I like this. Look at how pretty. Look. And it's graduating too. So it starts off with the small. Ooh, we're going to have to fix that right there. But small and then it gets bigger. It does look like a choker size. So that one's pretty. I do want to sell that. That, yeah. Okay. Okay. We have. Ugh. So this is an enamel door knocker, but it's so lightweight. So we're just gonna put that in craft right away. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. So we have this kind of jasper, and it's really pretty. It's like light pink and gray. Then we have some pink crystals. Uh, I want to find the match to that one. That one's really pretty. Okay. The, yeah, this one feels really grimy. Someone will love crafting with these little shells. Yay. To them. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is a hand-painted maybe wood button earring that's oh is this the other one okay these are fun maybe hawaiian or something so yeah i will sell those what is this this honestly does look like mm, nope this is a hot mess this is a whole hot mess and you can see the copper coming through so it's just craft and yeah Ooh, so this, is this called a collar stay where you put this up at the top of your collar? Mm -hmm. A lot of these are marked, but I'm not seeing anything on this one. I'm going to put this in the maybe because the, actually those do sell and sometimes they're gold, sometimes they're sterling. Okay. Ooh, look at this thermoset um, clippy. Yes. Yeah, so moon glow thermoset is where it looks like the moon glow stone but it's actually made out of plastic and there is definitely a collector's market for the moon glow thermoset we have these like knot earrings and they are textured on the back i don't see a maker's mark i wouldn't be surprised if these are avon or maybe even something nicer they have a good weight to them um you guys see how I just go right for the earrings? Those are my favorite. Okay, so we have these swirl enamel purple clip-ons. Like that one. Um, not marked, but I think I will still sell them. Like, I feel like I've said it in a few of my videos that um, when I do sell swirl enamel earrings and jewelry, it seems like they go into lots. So people buy multiple. Um, we have this clip on that seems to be more modern this is an acrylic piece all right we're gonna put earrings over here still that don't have matches Ooh, these are these are nice these are those snap cufflinks so i definitely want to find a match to these so it looks it honestly looks like it could be sterling so an r maybe i don't know but these are really cool. I like those. Okay. We have this chain. And it says 18 karat gold plated. 
So just like this unisex chain. <laughs> My fingers are getting so dirty. I'm going to put that in the maybe. Maybe I will use it for um, <clears throat> a pendant or something. Okay. Very, very tangled. Let's see. Here's something. So we went to Green Lake <clears throat> this past weekend in Wisconsin, Green Lake, Wisconsin. And I'm looking at all these stones. So um, Green Lake, where we stayed, like a, it was like a conference center that is for, I guess, Christian groups usually stay there or retreats or whatever. And they like have church and things like that. So there's a lot of like religious things everywhere. So it was like late one night. Anyways, this is going to be craft. It's pretty, but it's very worn. It was late one night. And um, my husband's like, we, we got um, the hotel there. So here's the match craft. We got the hotel there. And my husband's like, I want to show you this one room that's really creepy. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, great. I want to, he wanted to show me and the kids. Big statement ring. It's a stretch though and not marked. Um, and I was like, okay. Uh, and I was like, I'm not, I'm like, don't scare me. I'm really scared. And we go into like this like basement area and it said something, something room. And I was like, oh. And so we go into this room and I'm like, oh, it's just like a display of like, it looked like gemstones. So we're going through this and this is what it's reminding me of is just gemstones and learning about gemstones. So I was like, oh, this is nice for the kids. But it's just really weird. It's like in this room. Well, it said, you know, it's, it's it said sit down and enjoy the show or whatever. And it's just like a case full of gemstones and you sit down and so we're sitting there and they start talking about collecting gemstones and how this like. Baptist preacher or something along those lines, like collected these gemstones. Well, all of a sudden, like we're in this room with it's like a tiny, tiny room, right? With like four chairs in it and like this these rocks behind glass. So we're, we're there. And then all of a sudden, the program is like from like the 70s <laughs> that's going on. And it's like like the, the rocks are twirling around, and all of a sudden they turn the lights off completely. <laughs> and then like they're still going. Anyways, we found the match to these. Yay. Um, and it, um, showed that certain rocks from all around the United States fluoresce. That was the whole point. But I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and like, not only that, but the doorknob, um, to get out sticks, like it feels like you're locked in. And I was like, oh my gosh. So my husband thought that, that was like so funny, but it was actually really neat seeing the different like rock clefts and how some fluoresce. Um, green and orange and purple. So I'm suspecting, oh, oh, do you know what this is? You guys, look at this. Okay. I feel like the chat kind of died down a lot because you guys are probably working and doing your thing, but look at this, you guys, right now. Look at how pretty. We're just talking about gemstones <laughs> and we see all these natural gemstones. Okay, I see amethyst, rock quartz, maybe aventurine or jade. I see, I'm sorry, rose quartz, amethyst, rock quartz, and peridot. Um, and probably sterling silver, right? I'm pretty sure this is probably sterling silver. Let's test it. All right, so you love the fluorescent rock. So that was very interesting. It was a very weird way to... um show <laughs> that in this like tiny room in the basement that was called I don't even remember what the room was called but I was like okay, where are we going and my husband really likes to um scare me sometimes like I'll be working down here um at this work table and he'll bring me water and scare me um oh is it not is it not sterling all right, we're going to rub we're going to rub it a little harder. And then I'm also going to see if this clasp. But this is really pretty. It's purple 
and bluish, maybe like a periwinkle with a purple undertone. Um, so I really thought he was gonna like scare us, but I was like, he can't do that with the kids because <laughs> we had the little, we had Gideon and Annalise and Pemberley. And he's like, no, 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 you really have to see it. Okay, we're scratching it harder to see. And then we'll try this one as well. Okay. All right, it looks like neither of them are showing up as sterling, which is actually really surprising to me because um, it really does look like it. But definitely going to be selling this one um, nonetheless. So rock crystal, Janice is asking how we can see rock crystal on the Presidium. So we'll test it. So it's this clear one right here. Right here. Right there. Um, and then it should go to the quartz amethyst citrine right at the bottom if it is rock crystal. So let's see. Oh, it's slipping. All right. It might just be glass, which is surprising. But I'm going to go to the rose quartz. And yes, you'll see it goes right to the quartz amethyst citrine right there at the bottom and then I'm gonna do a, an amethyst purple one. That should go to the quartz amethyst citrine. Actually, that one's going to jadeite spinel. Huh. Purple jadeite? Maybe. Um, and then we have this white, whitish one. I don't know, but definitely natural gemstones and so these might be faceted glass but that's actually really surprising to me so I'll just have to keep testing keep playing with it to see um what these all are but this is so pretty nonetheless really sweet and dainty for a natural gemstone necklace love okay that was fun and I do love this one as well even though not sterling but really nice art glass so that one's a yes Okay, we have this button earring, artisan carved wood, maybe? Something like that. Okay, another pendant. I'm just putting this right in craft. It's worn. We have a gold tone chain, no maker's mark, craft. Oh, we have an Alex and Ani. This one's actually not in too bad of shape. It says Alex and Ani right there. It has a starfish. I'm going to put this in the maybe. If anybody wants it, I'll probably do $2 for that one as well. Craft. What is, what is this? What is going on here? Okay, so it feels like these are, honestly, they feel mm, like sponge coral, but they're probably not. They're something. And then this is a shell with these beads on it. I would definitely say artisan piece. <laughs> uh, no mark, wood beads. Maybe they're coconut. I don't know. They're something. But that's fun. That one is a yes. Okay, we have another ring, statement ring that's stretch, no mark. It's cool. Enamel. But I'm going to put that one in craft. We have a spiral that possibly is sterling. That would be cool if it was. <clears throat> um, put that over there. Okay, what are you? What is this? Again, this is the matte gold and pink. And this is actually 
really pretty. Look at this. A matte gold chain with like peaches and pinks and almost like a yellowish pink. No mark, but that is really fun. I love this one. I think these are all just acrylic, but it definitely gives me Anne, not Anne Klein, um, maybe Anne Taylor or J. Crew vibes. So that one is a yes. That one's pretty. What is this? What is happening here? Uh, this was cut off of something. Craft. Ooh, this one is a grimy thing. Yeah. We're going to put that in craft. So are you guys working right now? <laughs> Listing a lot. I do that on Sunday nights. And then Monday is like, my whole family knows that's my shipping day. Um, and then because my husband, oh my goodness, Janice. Janice gave me a super chat, you guys. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, that's so awesome. Okay. So anyways, this is really pretty because it's glass, it's in really great condition, and it's hand knotted. Unfortunately, um, this, I don't know, fish hook clasp, I think, um, is not marked. So a lot of times it would be marked on the back or on the side or even on the clasp itself if it was like gold filled or sterling or something like that. But I think I will sell this um nonetheless so you're trying you're definitely trying to get listings up yes anyways i was saying that usually on sundays my husband knows that i i try to get work done Ooh, this one's pretty this is really pretty art glass kind of looks like candy oh it's so pretty so this honestly looks like a toggle, but they made it into a pendant. Look at this. That's pretty. So it's just over the head. But wouldn't it be cool if someone put like a toggle on that side too? And then you could make it into a choker. Hmm. Or what could we hang from this? Okay. All the things. That's pretty. We're going to just say yes to that. That's so pretty. What is this? Clip on? Ooh, this is another metal clip-on unmarked. And then we, oh, here's another. We're just going to put this in the yes. Because honestly, like, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that if I can get $7.99 or I think, if I think I can get $7.99 for something, I usually end up listing it. Oh, a fancy lanyard. See? I used to wear fancy lanyards when I was a um, special education teacher. Okay, not marked, stretch. Glasses, yes! Okay. So, yeah. So, if you guys are... Oh, what is this? What is this? What? I honestly thought this was a squash blossom at first, right? When I saw this part. <laughs> um, but... What is this? See, things like this, like, get me all excited. I'm like, oh, it's a pointy thing. <laughs> it's a pointy thing with spokes on the bottom. Like, is this a tour? Oh, is what is this? Now I'm starting to, like, okay, so it looks like it's sterling. Yes, it does. And what, what is it? It doesn't look like it broke off of anything. <gasps> what is it? Okay, so we're going to test it to see if it's sterling real quick. Okay, so we're doing the top. Yes, okay, boom. So this one is showing bright blue. So if, if anything, it's a sterling doodad. You guys, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Okay, well, that's so fun. We're going to just put that in the yes and deal with it later. Um. Yay. Okay, so this one says embrace the journey. And then on the back it says L plus D. 
Ooh, I do not have that in my Maker's Mark file. L plus D, and then Embrace the Journey. What is that? And then it looks like we have some hands holding a heart. You have that exact bracelet too. Are you talking about this one? <laughs> Are we just living the same life here? Um, or is it this one? Hmm. I'm going to put this in my maybe because I have not heard of that. Interesting. Okay, we have a cherub earring. We have a turtle earring. Yeah, give me some hearts in the chat if you love listing earrings. Because I cannot be alone. I just get so excited. Like, I'm like, oh, these are so easy. Yay. People love bundling with earrings. They are just so easy to ship. Okay. More earrings. Okay. Let's move on to... Ooh, what is this? What is this? Okay, so this is the Kishi beads, which I believe these are just made out of shell. Okay, yay, hearts. Okay, I think we are, but I was referring to the Clada bracelet. I looked it up a while, and it sells for 40 to 45 Which one? Which is What is the Clada? Or, yeah, am I saying it right? <laughs> I'm currently wrestling getting a necklace to lay right on a bust. So I would much prefer earrings. I know, so easy. So it says Luca and Danny is the brand. They are very similar. Yes, probably, yeah. The heart, hands, and crown bracelet. Oh, hmm. Okay, so we have this little, like, carved feather. That is so interesting. We have some some interesting elements going on here. This definitely looks really old, wouldn't you guys say? So we have the Hishi beads right here. Then we have, I don't know, these look like mother of pearl, but they're really dark. Um, and then we have this very pointy carved shell or mother of, I don't know, that's weird. Then the barrel clasp. So that one's probably going to be a yes. I think that one is pretty old, if I had to guess. Okay. Ooh, I see a lariat. I love selling lariats. I just really like them. And let's get it out. Okay, we have a spring ring clasp, so it is older. Um, are you marked? Let's see. It does say something. What does it say? Do you guys see? What does it say? Is it upside down? What does it say? Austria? No. Artistry? Artistry. Do you guys see what this says? Hmm, artistry something. And then we have this little, oh, do they pull? No, they don't. Stop. But they're still so cute nonetheless. I wish it pulled though. I love it when it pulls. This one's really cute. I have not sold that before. That one's going to be a yes. Okay. This is it earring like a, a spiral cage Ooh, what is this this one is made nicer you guys see that and then this one this part rocks back and forth i feel like this is something it is very heavy um maybe like trifari or something but it's not marked you guys why it is definitely that is definitely something. It It's like maybe Irwin Pearl. It is something. Okay. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. So it's gold and silver. Uh-oh. Are we getting into um, like band territory or <laughs> band merch or something? Um, you know, like the collector jewelry from certain bands. I've sold a couple pieces now for a lot of money. 
And let's see. So this one says, oh, Nerf Rebel. You guys, what is this? <laughs> Nerf Rebel? Rebel? What is it? I don't know, but I feel like it's something. And so, oh, and it says it right here. Rebel? Is that a band? You guys, help. <laughs> I'm on I can't look it up on my phone because my phone is recording so um what is this it definitely looks interesting no matter what so we have bow and arrows we have this like I don't know Celtic thing or something and then does that say nerf rebel I don't know but that is interesting all right, we are going to be looking that up later, and I think I'm going to be selling that. That's interesting. Okay, we have this, which feels not so awesome. Oh, what is this? Someone hand made a little dream catcher. That's craft. Oh, okay, this one feels kind of grimy. Oh, we have a sweet little teardrop. Uh, okay, that might all go together. Okay, we're just gonna deal with that later. How long have we been? Oh, this is over an hour. Ooh, fun though. I love, honestly, I love watching jewelry unboxings that are like an hour and a half. <laughs> honestly, I totally, totally love them. Okay, so we have a Leah Sophia here. Um, this one's not super wow, but it is fun. All right. So we have, oh, we have, um, did you just comment on my, uh, Instagram? We have the eclectic element. <laughs> did you just comment on Instagram? It popped up. Um, Leah Sophia is a pretty decent brand. It usually sells in bundles for me, not for like a super high price, but it sells. And this is a cute little seed bead and like a light teal ish. Okay. Oh, look at how cute that is. That is so adorable. Okay. It says, je, je t'aime. Jen, <laughs> we have French and it's very dirty. Very, very dirty. Um, yay, but that's really cute. Oh, it's a letter. It's a letter in an envelope. Yes, you love jewelry boxings. You can sit there for hours because it relaxes you. Yes, <laughs> I'm so the same way. Or I'll have it in the background, just listening to it like while I cook. And then, yeah. So I don't know. I kind of want to put this in the maybe because it is so cute and so dirty. But look at how cute. Okay, I like that one. Hey, there's another. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, well, craft. This looks like a tagua nut or whatever those are. The Hawaiian wedding nut um, necklaces. Yeah, I've only sold one of those. Those are not like super amazing sales. Wait a second. <gasps> this is the other part of the listener. Let's see. Well, let's see if it is. Oh, <gasps> no, it's not. It's a coro. So it's a coro, you guys. <laughs> The spiral earring looks like Premier Designs. Are you talking about this one? Right here. And if if you're um, just watching me unbox this one now, Jen, you might be way behind. <laughs> you might be lagging. Um, now I kind of feel like I want to rescue it because this is another Coro. Where did we put that? <laughs> Can I fix it? I don't know. We're going to put this in the maybe for now. Maybe I put the other in the maybe. Oh, here's the other thermoset. Gray thermoset. Yes, I've sold Premier Design Spiral before, so I totally get where you're coming from. What is this? This is like a... Oh, it is vintage. We have a spring ring clasp. Oh, I kind of like this. It's simple, but it's like a three strand and it's like a tiered necklace look at this interesting chain as well okay I like that I will sell it it's not marked but really interesting okay I just want to get to the earrings 
Ooh, we have cherry earrings. We have this, which is not marked and very lightweight. What is this? It's missing something. Yeah, this is this is one of those uh, tangles that would take a really long. Wait a second, didn't we just have this? I am real like what? Didn't we just have this, you guys? <laughs> okay, we have two. Okay, we're we're gonna sell two of them then. I guess that's funny. Okay. Oh, here's that one way over here. All right, so I, I just feel like these are something. These are really, really nice. So those are like maybe Love Knot or something. Okay, these. These look like the Snap Jewelry. Oh, and we have another. Let's see if it's marked. Oh, it does have something. It has a little, a little dot. <laughs> Do we think that this is Avon then? Is it? So on my Irwin Pearl earrings that I have, one is marked P-E-P, -E and the other one doesn't have anything on it. So I'm wondering if something along those lines is the case for these. These are very heavy. The back is just high quality. These have like a really lovely high-end matte gold, not super shiny, textured. These just look really nice. So definitely going to, I'm curious to know what those are. Anyways, back to these. Um, these are the snap jewelry. I believe there's different, um, jewelry like ginger snap or Lulu something jewels, something along those lines. Um, and so there might be a piece in here somewhere that you can just snap and change out different pieces. Ooh, these are some fun screw backs. So these might be like older, like forties, fifties ish not marked but they're like a layered chain look this is an enameled layered pendant not in the best condition and it is very tarnished <gasps> oh my gosh you guys okay if you have not been looking <laughs> and you've been working this might be the most beautiful thing in the entire <gasps> in the entire thing. Okay, you guys, stop everything. Okay. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Look at this. Everybody look, 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 look. Look at these like filigree, like brass balls and then this okay this is exactly how I like to wear my tassel necklaces is having um these chains longer than the tassel oh <gasps> this is everything okay thank you Jen for reminding everyone okay let's look up close oh my word look at this look at this okay okay we're dying we're dying here everyone <laughs> This is so exciting. And it's definitely old. Okay. We are loving this. Yeah. This is a thing. This is a thing. This is a thing that I'm probably going to price up <laughs> and put online and wear it. And this is just so lovely. Okay. Oh, while we're here and while after that fun hoorah thing... Um, I'm, I want to ask you guys, did someone, and if you are watching later, let me know in the comments, did someone give me friend mail and did not sign it? Because I want to show you guys, because I got this mail from Italy and I was like, I don't remember ordering anything from Italy. So it came in this box right here and the package itself is not telling me anything. All it says is um, customs came from Italy, but it's this Murano stick pin with foiled art glass in it. <gasps> so someone must have been watching this and saw me struggling <laughs> or something trying to figure out what was Murano and what was not. And they're like, let me just send Rachel some help. Let me get her a Murano stick pin. 
So, yeah. And then it says right here, um, Nerovine, exclusively, exclusively made in Italy. And then Murano. So, Murano is a little island. Dear customer, do, do, do. Um, so, it says... Very fine glass and Murano glass embellished with gold, silver, and platinum. So, um, yeah, let me know because, like I said, it just, um, it says it's from Italy and just had, like, the customs thing on it. So, I know. Okay, so now we're all learning, right? Murano glass. Ooh. <laughs> and now I get to keep that. Or, I don't know, like, I'm, I, it has to be one of you guys, right? It has to be. Like, I don't know where else it would have come from. Um, okay, I see, oh, a really cool cactus um, earring with a horse on it. And then more earrings. More, oh, the cherry earrings. Okay, did we get these this out yet? Oh, we have a cross. Oh, I see a really cool cross in here. What does it say? Okay, let's get that one out. Um, okay, well, let's just look. It says Delone. Uh, is that even a name? D E L O N E? What? So usually how I untangle things like this is I try to find the the clasp and then I'll unclasp it. Um, I'm going to put this in the maybe. I, have you guys ever heard of that name? That's interesting. Um, okay, we're just going to put that in the maybe because I don't, do not know. Ooh, this one's pretty. <gasps> Ooh, copper. I love copper. I actually bought a copper cup the other day. Okay, and it has this really pretty oil slick iridescent glass beads. And then these like um, copper tone disco ball beads. This is actually super pretty. And then the copper findings. I kind of like this one. That is pretty. Okay, that one is a yes. And it feels nice too. Okay, we have the other clippy. I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet. This one looks Leah Sophia. Again, it's the um, super annoying fish wire thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Is it Leah Sophia? No, it's not saying anything. So we're just going to put this in craft just right away in craft. And we have, oh, we have something popping out. Wait, what is this? This is very, very dirty. Okay. Reminds me of Juicy Couture. And it goes, so it clasps in the front with the toggle. I mean, it's really pretty. Blingy if it was clean. And then easy to clasp in the front. It's kind of like like Tiffany style with the heart and the toggle. Um, but I think I'm going to put it into craft because it just is really, I don't know. It's not, I don't think it's worth cleaning in my opinion. And it's not super high quality in my opinion. So I'm just going to put that in craft. Some of you are probably like, no, but... Um, also, you have to do what brings you joy as well. So uh, that one just doesn't bring me a lot of joy. Okay, this one's super interesting. And it definitely looks artisan. It looks like steampunk, kind of. Okay. So it has like these copper gears and art glass. And swirled, funky, amber tone glass. This is super interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think I definitely, that, that would be really fun to wear. Especially wearing it, like, like layered. See that? 
fun. Okay, that one is a yes. And then we have this, another barrel clasp with all of these stone nuggets. They all look like jasper or agate. I'm going to put this in the maybe. Snowflake earring. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Here is another. Another snappy thing. Okay. So maybe there's like a snap jewelry piece in here. This kind of looks like scroll. Does that look like 1928 jewelry scrolling? Is it? It's a four. I mean, it definitely has a style. It has that like almost like antiqued gold tone. It does have a faux pearl cabochon and like a four leaf clover. Huh, maybe if we have the other one, I definitely want to sell that. Okay, what is this? Ugh. Okay, that one's gross. This is a very bright gold tone chain. Oh, it's really nice. It's a spring ring and it's very bright, like really, really nice. Steampunk is your favorite keyword. I do like steampunk. I like a lot of vintage styles. So that's probably just going to go right into my um, chains. All right, I'm going to try shaking. See if any interesting earrings come out. Oh, here's a clippy. This is very worn though, but it is heavy. Seems like they took out any earring that could be marked, right? Here's the other one. Oh, we have a match. We have this one and where's the other one? Did I lose it? Okay, whatever. We have this earring. Okay. We have, all right, I'm going to be on for what, eight more minutes and then we'll sign off. So let's get through as much as we can in eight minutes. This is really pretty, um, not marked and not super high quality, but I mean, it's pretty. I'm just going to put this in the maybe. We have a bird. This reminds me of like airy or something. Um, copper tone. Ooh, look at this chandelier black earring. Not marked. Oh, a little enamel teardrop. Okay, we have that. Did we find this other heart? I feel like it should be easy to see. We have a butterfly cluster earrings. I think I've sold ones that look like that. <gasps> Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this. That is really pretty. It's not marked, but it's very, very pretty. All right, put that over there. Oh, I really think this is so adorable. It's stretch and that's, I mean, I probably won't sell it, but I really, I really like this. Look at how cute this is. I mean, funky, fun. Okay, put that in craft, even though I'm really sad. But it feels, it just feels tight. So, okay. We have this, oh, it's so pretty. Just a sweet little, little rhinestone. No marks. Put that in craft. The clasp is broken. Ooh, look at another. Oh, you guys, this matches the little chick thing. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be so cute together? I don't even know where it is. Somewhere in there. But oh my gosh, that little Millie Fiore art glass. Oh my gosh, so cute. So the other one was yellow and that one is blue. All right, so there we go. What do we have here? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Uh, it says something in there. What is this, you guys? <laughs> what is what is this? I don't even know. Okay, another spiral earring. Oh, wait a second. These are a bunch of those snappy things. 
Okay, yeah, spoon handle, but what did they turn it into? Why is it like this? Katie says spoon handle. Um, we have, it's a handmade spoon handle pendant. Really? Shoehorn, yeah. Use it as a pendant. Hmm. You guys have some really good ideas, and it probably is a pendant, but would that be sellable? Let me know. All right, we have this bracelet that is chunky, and it says love right in the middle. Um, very hip-hop. So we're going to put that in the baby. Oh, mixed jewelry bundle. There we go. We have that other wooden one. I think this is fun enough. This one reminds me of, like, Bill Cosby and his sweaters. So we're going to say yes to that. Here's another snappy. I wonder what these go to. Um, this is pretty. It's all acrylic though. But I like the pendant. Okay, we're going to put it on maybe in the maybe bin. Okay, craft. Ooh, what is going on here? This is kind of fun though. We're going to I'm going to be surprised. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Etsy all day. Yes, the spoon spoon pendant. And I have sold like spoon and fork jewelry <clears throat> like uh, particularly bracelets. Okay, so this one is giving me like beach ocean vibes and it's not like the um fishing line memory wire type thing. These are actually more of like a dangle, so it's totally fine if these are bent. That's kind of fun though. With these like glass, maybe like sea glass looking. Oh, I actually really like this. This is I kind of want to wear it right now. Oh, is it damaged? Why did they do this? Um, well, for now, I kind of am going to say yes, and then we'll check it out later. Okay, so we have this half hoop. Another snappy. Okay. If we did not find the piece of jewelry that that snap thing goes on. All right, let's see what time it is. All right, so I'm going to probably wrap this up. Um, yeah, but this definitely was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Ooh, look at this. This is a pretty little art glass. Oh, what is this? It's, it almost looks like the Givre glass see that where it looks like a marble with the color inside anyways I'm gonna wrap this up make sure to give this video a like if you haven't already liked it subscribe if you are new and you have not yet subscribed to this channel I do a lot of jewelry hauls and what sold videos for reselling and yeah make sure you guys are out there thrifting so you guys can live generously let me turn you turn you guys around Oh, you guys want to see my new earrings? Da -da -da. So these are, I think, Anthropology. Let's see if it says on the other one. Um, I think it's called like Derpa something. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Hold on. It's called Deepa by Deepa Gurani. Um, and I'm going to be giving some away that are blue. Um, if you look up this brand, this is a very pricey brand, but I think it's because they're handmade and Anthropology also sells them. Um, so I'm not going to like give a huge, um, like, like let everybody know that I'm going to be doing a giveaway shortly. Um, but it's just, it's going to happen when it happens so that I just 
have people that I know um, entering the giveaway and I'm not like attracting a bunch of people that just come to the channel for the giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're liking and following and go ahead and join our Facebook group. And yeah, as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.